Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Vertex FX Lite for iOS and Android devices. So, when you first open the application, you're going to see the login screen. Here, you can select the server just by typing it. Type your company's name or the company that you're uh, trading with, the, your dealing room. I'm using Harbor Solutions demo here and of course the username and password and you have the choice to auto login it will save your credentials for later logins so of course if you don't have an account you can register for a demo account of course so let's log in real quick here Wow see the speed of the uh, vertex fix light it's so light it's uh, it consumes less resources from your phone so lower tier phones can handle the vertex fix light very efficiently so as you can see from the performance and the fluctuation of the market watch you can see the performance uh, when you see the market watch for the first time you can see that you have the spread and you have the time you have the bed and the ask and you have the low and the high of course you can see the account summary at the bottom of the screen you can see the balance the floating profit loss the equity and the free margin uh, so if you just tap on any uh, currency here you can show the details of this currency like the spread the contract size the commission if any the max and minimum amount and the expiry date of course for future contracts and if you click on trade it will open the trade panel you see here you can select between the market or the entry if you select the market you can see the bed price and the ask price you can see the amount you can change the amount by clicking or pressing on the plus and minus signs here you can write a comment if you want to uh, add a comment to your position and of course you'll see a note that says that this order will be executed at market price and will uh, my face difference to be noticed let's place a mini lot here a buy position of your GBP now as you can see new open position let's sell if we can go to the entry and we can select between the buy limit sell limit buy stop and sell stop and of course you can change the price so let's uh, select buy limit of your GBP the same so buy limit should be less than the current price and you can write a comment then click on place order now we have a new entry order with a stop loss and take profit let's go back go to trades in the middle you can see all our trades here I have a previous one and we have two market trades, two market positions. If we go to orders, we can see that I have a buy limit here. And of course, I have my stop loss and take profit. Let's go back to trade and check if I select anyone, I can close the selected or I can select all if I have many positions and close them by clicking or pressing on close selected if I one tap on any of these positions I can close it of course at market and if I tap here I can close it by hedge if there's any hedge here I will hedge it to show you or if I tap I can show the information for this particular trade now 
let's manage it real quick I can add a stop loss and take profit I've shown you how to add a stop loss and take profit same process here we can close them together I should select the hedge will show automatically what is the opposite of this trade I'm selecting now I can close them done now if we go to orders I can select same thing I can cancel or modify the order if I click on modify the order I can modify the price the open price I can modify the stop loss and the take profit of course I can modify them and click on modify it says that my order with the ticket ID has been modified so let me go back uh, one tap then I can cancel the order of course if you tap on the buy limit itself when it says buy limit will show the order ID the stop loss and take profit and the date and time and the comment if you added any comments let me show you how to cancel it very quick very efficient faster and uses less resources we go to history we can show the history by the last day last week last month or we can show all the history of course with all the details that we need we can show all the details of the transactions as well They're not just uh, positions and orders go to code will send you back to the codes panel if we click on this icon like a stack we can show the account tree if you are an IB and you have underlying client beneath you you can see all the accounts here you can select and switch between the accounts from here if you go to net trade you can show the net trades we'll categorize them I have 0.1 buy with this profit loss you can see the profit loss at the far right of the screen and we have 0.4 cells of GBB CHF so if we tap on it we can see the niche hedge is 0.3 because I have 0.1 buy it, of course and we have average open price because it's not one position it's actually four positions we'll average the price between them and we have the current market price the commission and interest we can go back you can see analytics we we'll show you top 10 most profitable symbols we we'll show you you can filter by the week the day the month whatever period you like of course the year will give you useful analytical information here about will show you your uh, dealing room information like the email address so where you can contact them the phone number etc if you click on the main will send you back to the main menu you can of course search for any symbol if you have massive market watch like I am uh, using here so let me uh, type in euro so I filtered all the euro symbols here if I click on the plus sign I will manipulate the codes panel here I can show or hide any symbols that I want to show of course you can type in and search for symbols and click on save it will reflect immediately on the codes panel